Welcome back to the PDR Coach Podcast Trainers Edition, where I'm interviewing the top trainers in our industry for you so that you can make the best decision on where to go to learn the art and skill of PDR. Welcome to the podcast, Justin. Hey, appreciate you having me on, man. Yeah, what's going on, man? Um, so Q&A, try to bust through this thing in about 20 minutes, um, and we'll cover everything from beginning to end. So first things first, what's your name? What's the name of your school? Hey, I'm Justin Miller. Uh, I've got uh, a school called Modern Dent Repair. That's my my training company and my PDR company. Gotcha. And I'm uh, ba- based out of San Francisco, California, Bay Area. Nice. And what is the website to find uh, Modern Dent Repair? Uh, under the same name, moderndentrepair.com. That makes it easy. Uh, yep. Where's the training facility located? San Francisco, Bay Area. That's where you do all the training, obviously, right? Yep. So, so I'm in, I'm in a small town in, in the East Bay, which is kind of tucked near Oakland, uh, called Alameda. Yep. And I do, I do most of my training at a body shop. So we're, you know, we're in a shop, plenty of access to cars, panels. Nice. Uh, were you, are you, you just answered this, or have you ever been a tech? If so, for how long? Yeah, absolutely, man. So I, I've been a tech for, uh, I've kind of lost track, maybe 20, 20, 21, 22 years, something like that. Since what year were you a tech? Uh, so I got, I, I started in 99. Well, that's when I got trained. Um, Perfect. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, why or how did you start a training school? Tell us that story. Yeah, so that's that's uh, that's a, a, a funny story. So I originally, I'll kind of maybe throw in a few things if you don't mind. So no I was problem. originally trained by, by Tom Price back in 99. Mm-hmm. Uh, did a little, uh, uh, did a class with him, was awesome. He kind of liked the way I worked and said, hey, um, you know, if you don't mind coming back, help me run on my retail shop. I was like, cool. So three months later, I did that, moved back to a shop in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, at the same time, he was running classes out of that. And I kind of just slowly started uh, within the year, year and a half that I was there. So I was started helping him out with classes and really, really got the knack for helping people. Because um, I was like just kind of recently at that stage where I was just learning and figuring stuff out. Mm-hmm. And so I started helping them with classes and then really about a year or so after that, just kind of started training people. It was a little bit early, but, but I had a good, good foundation to work from. Nice. So training since 2000, 2001? Yeah, about, yeah, about, yeah, I would say 2001, 2002, gotcha. maybe. Gotcha. <clears throat> Any handle on how many techs you've trained? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I knew that was one of the questions yeah. and I would say probably... Um, cause I've done training with other companies too and, and, and larger groups. I, I would say safely 150 to 200, maybe gotcha. I've, I honestly don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe around there. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, do you have any handle on how many are still pushing or follow up on success from the techs you've trained or anything in that, in that area? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good question. I, I usually, I try to keep in contact with everybody more. I would say more recently in the last 10 years, I've, I pretty much know everybody have a, you know, at least talk to the guys once or twice a year, some, some more, some every month. Mm -hmm. Um, So I would say I can't account for maybe the first 10 years, but (laughs) I will tell you guaranteed the last 10 years, at least 95% of the guys are still doing it. Almost all of them. Awesome. Yeah. Um, How many techs do you train at once and how long is your training program for? Yeah, so that's also a great question. Um, I I am strictly a one-on-one guy. Um, occasionally, I'll do like a two-on-one if it's maybe a father son or something, yeah. or maybe a couple of buddies. Partners or something. But it's really um, it's to me it's it's just ideal to be one-on-one. And I get guys for two weeks. Um, I, obviously, I'd like to have a more um, not for the money. Obviously, the money's great, but my my passion is in training. Two weeks mm-hmm. is usually all the people can afford, like time wise and money wise. So. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So yeah, basically a two week class one on one. Perfect. Um, why should a new tech or someone that's wanting to go to training pick your school? Like, what's unique about what you do at Modern Dent Repair? Yeah. So another good question. Um, I can't really speak for other trainers. I mean, I kind of know a few of them, and 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 maybe heard. Yeah, and maybe heard 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 some stories from them. Yeah. Basically, what my main focus is learning the fundamentals. Um. It's, it's the most important thing. And if you look at the forums now where, the, uh, where a lot of new guys are coming up, 
a mm. lot of basic questions are are where people are getting stuck is just they didn't they don't have a good grasp of the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. That is my main focus. Um, and then and then that naturally progresses to bigger damage, <laughs> more complex damage. But you you have to have the fundamentals. Gotcha. So one on one, two weeks, um, mostly fundamental. Is it? It's eight to five, right? Full days. Yeah. Two weeks. Okay. Yep. Yep. Full days, Monday through Friday, weekend off. Um, what do you offer? Out, uh, trainees outside of the actual physical PDR pushing um, tools or help with tools lists or PDR pricing, marketing sales, anything outside of just physically pushing? Yeah. So, so as far as tools go, um, the way I kind of have my package, I, I have a tool company that makes a 30 piece set, honestly, probably one of the most well-rounded sets in the industry. Um, it's an option to buy that. Some people come to me, they've already maybe have gotten into PDR, have a tool set. Mm -hmm. um, so I do <laughs> offer that set. Um, and I, I do offer continuous like tool selection, um, kind of input on that. Um, as far as marketing, I don't actually get to that, mainly because within two weeks, it's there's no time for that. Right. <laughs> um, I'm not saying it's not important. But, but literally every second of every day is, is hands-on pushing. So um, a lot of guys, I, I really try to suss out the guys that I train and make sure they want to get into it. And they, they usually figure it out by themselves. So to answer your question, I, I do not offer, you know, marketing yeah, advice. Yeah, you're, 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 you're one-on-one -on -one pushing two weeks straight in and out fundamentals. So can you summarize your like philosophy on PDR training and it's kind of like a big question, but, but how it works, um, any kind of principles you have around it? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's uh, another good question. So, so my main philosophy is, is basically do whatever it takes to make sure that the student understands the information. Um, basically if you've done training, as long as I have, you realize that people are come from different backgrounds, have different learning <laughs> curves. Um, I do have like kind of a, a main way that I teach. Um, but basically it's just adapting to people's, you know, uh, attitudes, mentality, and really focus it on that and make sure that they're comfortable learning the information and that they get the information. Awesome. Do you teach anything about like ergonomics or protecting your body or anything along that, um, during our, you know, long yeah, I, I, I'm starting to basically because, you know, at, as a 20 year tech, I'll prom, I'm guarantee almost every 20 year tech is, is in pain <laughs> at this point. So um, I, I do. Obviously, there's more tools that are, you know, being introduced into PDR to help that. <clears throat> um, I do a little bit. Yeah. But but again, I I'm more I'm more kind of like presented as as, hey, take care of yourself in the future. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some some of the movements you, you just there's no way around it, obviously, but. But yeah, I do. I do make people aware of that. Um, awesome. That in, in the long run, yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a factor. Do you train with lines, fog, or both? Yeah, strictly fog. Strictly fog. Yep. Uh, do you train for route work or hail or both? Yeah. So, so mainly both. The way the way I kind of present this is that it's an obviously it's an easier transition for hail. Um, there's different different tools involved, and and maybe some R and I, you know, um, well not maybe definitely R and I, but but basically we start, you know, start out on a hood, go to side panels, and then, you know, I introduce people to hail, but I don't, uh, it's mainly for side panels. I would say the majority of the people come to me is, is are, are route guys, like side panel guys. Gotcha. And, and if, if that's the case, <clears throat> the side panel guys, do you teach working inverted or right side up? If you yeah. So, that. so be, I, I should do. Yeah. So being taught from Tom Price, who's an ex whiz, um, um, I mean, I teach upside down. Some guys just don't, they're, they're just not having it you know mm -hmm. um i teach the ben like what i feel are the benefits of it um and i show them like what the, what the benefits are so yeah if that's what you may, mean by inverted yeah I, definitely I do. Upside, inverted upside, upside down, down yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh do you offer advanced courses outside of the two-week one-on-one i do yeah yeah it's i i find that my more motivated students don't really come back for advanced training they just they're they they have a, a, a big enough grasp on the fundamentals that they just kind of, as, as they go through the, you know, the paces, they kind of figure out what needs to be done. Um, but to answer your question, I do, yeah. Gotcha. Um, do you want to talk about a little bit about that, what it is? Like what, yeah, it what just it gets, like? yeah, so it gets more into, you know, obviously now there's 
glue pulling is definitely, um, you know, with big collision damage is, is definitely prevalent now. Uh, tension pulling, it's, it's more along the lines of that stuff. Um, and oddly enough, you know, I get a lot of calls from people that I haven't trained that say they want advanced training, but mm -hmm. it gets a little dicey because, you know, I would say more than not, it's, it's, they haven't had proper training. Um, so advanced training is, is, yeah, you've got a good grasp on the fundamentals. You can fix decent sized stuff. Um, you want to work more into collision stuff, how it unfolds, tension pulls, stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, do you train any techs or do you train checks for any large companies? Uh, not anymore. I, I, I have in the past, but it's like just all, so, so like all my training is word of mouth now and mm -hmm. I, and I rely solely on my reputation. So that's, I, I don't do larger companies. I, it's just strictly one-on-one. -on -one. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, do you offer like a certification or like a test to graduate um, the training or anything like that? Actually, I do not. Yeah. Obviously we, we kind of know about certifications. Um, I do not offer that. I mean, as far as the test is, um, I mean, you're, it's kind of a constant test and it's called pay the ten, pay attention. <laughs> so as long as you do that, you graduate, you know, Got it. um, what are the package package options? It sounds like just one-on-one -on -one, two weeks. That's the package option. And that's, that's and, the main, I mean, obviously, yeah. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Was there, and then so question? package, package options, if there are more than one, please explain. And then the cost of those. Yeah. So, so basically, um, my main thing is, is a, is a two week class. Um, I'll, tr you know, depending on if somebody has pre previous experience or they literally can only afford one week. Um, it's so my, my cost for, for training, just the training itself without tools is 35 a week, 3,500 a week. Um, and there's, um, <clears throat> and, and you want me to give you the tool package that like the price of the set? Yeah, or? please. Yeah. No, if yeah, whatever, so, you, whatever you would want potential trainees yeah, so to I, know. So, so basically I put together a, a, a pretty, so I have a 30 piece set made by a company. Um, that particular set is, I think about 1200 bucks. Um, and it's all, it's, it's a very, it's probably the most well-rounded tool set on there. Um, and then basically, basically I just piece together uh, glue stuff, like, you know, what they feel they need, what, what they can afford. So I don't, I don't have a particular package for the glues, you know, accessories and glues. I just kind of fit their budget. Um, but, but I do make sure that for what you can afford at that particular time, like you're getting what you need and, and nothing else. Perfect. And, and again, you said that's an optional, it's not, you can, the training is one thing. And then if you want tools, you can buy the tool package. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, how can clients pay you? Yeah. So at this point, um, it's, it's cold, hard cash, uh, card, Venmo. Any, any form. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Israeli um, shekels, whatever you got. <laughs> Bitcoin. Um, yeah. how, how far out uh, to book for training? If someone wanted to come, come train with you tomorrow, when would be the earliest time? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Got yeah, and, and here's why. So, so I work a little bit different. I'm actually a working tech. Mm -hmm. and, and the way I do things, um, it's not... So basically it's this. I, I only train when people seek me out. So I don't advertise for training. It's just kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. I, I really want the guys that know who I am, like what I'm about mm -hmm. and actually seek me out. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I, yeah, so that's, that's what it is. Perfect. Um, and so what's the best way for clients to reach out to you if they do want to get to know you, see what you're all about and maybe go to your training. Um, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a website, um, as I mentioned before, moderndentrepair.com. Um, I'm a little embarrassed. It probably hasn't been updated since, I don't know, uh, early early to mid 2000s. But it has information basically on my philosophy and, and how to get a hold of me. Um, otherwise, you can email me at baydents, B as in boy, A Y D E N T S, at gmail.com. Um, or I've got a number. You want me to give the number out? Sure. Here? Yeah. Share whatever you yeah, like. Yeah. So, so I'm also at uh, my, my, you can reach me by phone or text at 510 846 8184. Um, and I do, like, I really stress the other thing. I don't know if this is going to get tied into any more questions, but um, over the years, I've found that you really, it's such an important decision to get into this and an investment. Like, people kind of miss the point that you have to be able to gel with your teacher. Um, so I would really stress talking, whoever, whoever you talk to, like really spend time with that trainer and just, you know, try to get them on the phone for an hour, ask them questions, 
see if you like their vibe. You may find out that a, a very prominent trainer, you get them on the phone and you guys just don't gel. So you're going to be with that person for two weeks. So I would, I would really stress kind of get to know who you pick. So. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree that part of the reason why I'm trying to put this together so that you can hear them kind of explain what they do, how they work and things like that. Yep. So um, sure, sure. I would agree with that for anybody. Um, kind of a fun question. Um something I ask on all my podcast interviews at the end is where do you see the future of PDR going and how are you trying to kind of help guide it that, that way? Yeah, man, that's, um, that's a good question. I would say, obviously the thing, well, there's two things that are happening right now. A ton of people are getting into it. Um, which is, which is great. I feel as long as they get properly trained and, and Correct. kind of benefit the business from, from, from doing good work. Uh, mm -hmm. The second thing, obviously, the, the types of jobs people are doing now are, are, are getting huge, right? So mm -hmm. let's not lie. I mean, people are doing some phenomenal damage here. So I think the future is is glue pulling, being able to glue pull, manage those big pulls and, and tension pulls, um, knowing how to get that metal out. I mean, because that's, I mean, I think at any point, wherever, whatever area you're at, there's only going to be there may be nobody or just a few guys doing those bigger types of damage. And if you want to stay alive in this business and, and build a name, you, you've got to learn how to do that. Yeah. And you, and you did say that you teach glue pulling, tension pulling and things like that. that's an advanced, more advanced though. Well, it is. I mean, I don't, I don't skip over it in initial training. Okay. It just okay. doesn't, it's just kind of, the other thing is like, I don't have a set set like structure. I have a structure to the classes, but it's, I, it, it progresses as a student progresses. So gotcha. Um, we may not get to that till the last day, halfway through the second week, but it definitely it definitely gets introduced. Or, for sure. or if you're already better when you go there, it's it happens earlier. Something sure, sure. Because yeah. it's one on one, other, it's at the pace of the student type of thing. It is, okay. yeah. And the other thing that's helpful is I I also do repairs um, before and after class for the student, um, like like larger repairs so they can actually see me work um, gotcha. for, for like for my retail customers or body shop customers. So awesome. Um, that's it. That's all the questions. Is there anything else that I missed that you'd like to share with anybody that would be potentially calling you to get trained? I think that's it, man. Like those are, those are obviously, you know, really fine tuned questions. Those are great questions. So my advice is to anybody looking at these videos, man, just pay attention. Um, you know, just suss out who you feel you gel with. Um, I, I don't know at this point how many trainers there are. There's probably quite a few at this point, but um, yeah, man, just come into PDR highly motivated and, and driven for success. It is, it is not easy to learn. Um, anybody will tell you that. And if they tell you otherwise, I just probably wouldn't believe them. Um, so yeah, just, just as long as you're motivated and you're, you're driven to succeed, you, you will do that. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Appreciate it. Corey. Anytime, right. man.